Hello, this is Jim McKeith. I was nominated for the ALS Bucket Challenge by my sister, Amanda Harden, and she forgot that I was actually in Australia on a business trip. You can see here's the view from my balcony here of the Brisbane skyline here. Which is kind of nice. I didn't want to just jump on the bandwagon here, so I went to do some research online, looked at Wikipedia. So ALS stands for amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. It is a motor neuron disease, and you may have known of it as Lou Gehrig's disease. And you may recall that Lou Gehrig's disease is what is uh, Stephen Hawking's has that it is combines him to a wheelchair. So Lou as it turns out, my hotel doesn't seem to have an ice maker, which most hotels do. So I should have had an unlimited number of ice. But I do happen to have a full freezer in here. So I uh, started making some ice cubes and it looks like they're in pretty good shape there. So I mentioned from earlier, can put those in a bucket. Did a little digging and I found a bucket in my kitchen here as well. So I should be good to, that, good to go in that regard. Just go down to the pool level so I don't make a big mess in my hotel room. Now the reason that the ALS challenge uses an ice bucket is not just because it's crazy, but supposedly the sensation of the ice water being dumped on you to your nervous system is similar to the symptoms of ALS. So it, it's not just about being crazy and putting videos on YouTube, but about raising awareness for the symptoms of ALS. So I'm in the elevator headed down to the pool level. I've got my bucket with some ice in it. There's the ice there. Uh, not as much ice as I would have liked to have had, so I'll give it a few minutes to soak in the water. Thanks to my wife, Dawn, who always makes sure I have my uh, swim trunks with me because you never know when I might get a chance to go swimming. Okay. So I'm down here on the pool level and I've got my ice in my bucket of water. Give that a few minutes there to cool off the water. So I filled this actually from the spigot over there instead of the pool water, but the pool I checked is not heated, or at least not heated very much either. Uh, being in Australia, this is actually the uh, winter because we're in August. August is the middle of winter, so the middle of summer down here because we're in the southern hemisphere. But it's not like there's snow on the ground, so it's not going to be too bad. Great view here, though. So there's a big, uh, let's see if I can zoom in on that. Across the river there, we got the Ferris wheel and some sort of performing arts center over there and everything. Just really, really beautiful here in Brisbane. It's a great treat to get to be here. I have my presentation tomorrow on uh, our latest product, latest tools. So after my, uh, let's my zoom back out here, to do this all myself, and I, unfortunately I'm not quite as brilliant as Bill Gates to build a rig to dump the water myself, so making do with what I got. Afterwards I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go in the sauna here and uh, maybe warm up a little bit since luckily I don't have to suffer with the uh, feeling of ice cold water all over my body all the time as, if, as those with ALS. And I actually do plan to jump in the pool as well. So I think this ice had enough time to cool the water off here. Stir that up there. Whew, that's cold. Okay. So here goes. But hey, I got to get in the pool and this is a great excuse to go swimming. No, I can't remember how good I was. <laughs> Should have done that first. I'll show you one last thing here. This pool is up on the seventh floor of this building, which here the ground floor is not floor one, so this would be the eighth floor in the US. Wow, the building's huge. I'll show you how it's like 39 floors. I'm on the seventh floor right now, which like I said, would be eighth floor in the US. But the uh, side of the pool here is actually a window, so you're all good on here and you can see it. So yeah, I got a view under the water, although with my contacts in, it's not very easy to open my eyes into the water. But if I could, I could see out over the, uh, the area down below. Which is a nice view. This isn't it being not too bad a deal after all. There's a uh, hot tub here. It's actually, this one is here, like in the pool, uh, which makes for a nice treat 
on this uh, winter afternoon here in uh, Brisbane, Australia.